From coast to coast, officials and science fans are making their final preparations for Monday's full solar eclipse. Fox's Eben Brown with more. This is it, the final weekend heading into one of the biggest spectator events of the past decade. Millions of Americans are expected to put on their viewing glasses and watch the rare total solar eclipse on Monday. Counties in New York, Texas, and Indiana have already declared a state of emergency to help deal with the crowds. And officials along the path of totality are warning folks to get to their viewing spots as early as possible. Our local communities have been working to prepare for this influx of visitors. Uh, but there's no way around the fact that there will be incredibly heavy traffic and very large crowds. And, of course, it's also going to be a field day for scientists. The eclipse will obscure the bright light from the sun's surface, a rare event, allowing observers to record data directly from the solar atmosphere for the first time since 2017. During the total solar eclipse, we can use X-ray telescopes to observe the solar atmosphere and gain some cool understanding. There are also efforts underway to make sure everyone gets to experience the eclipse, even blind people. Harvard scientists developed a device that essentially takes light and converts it to sound as a tool for the visually impaired. We have a lot of different senses and different ways of um, enjoying different experiences um, and just because it's different doesn't mean that it's not worthwhile. The eclipse is expected to start in Mexico before making its way north through the U.S. It will be partially visible in at least 48 states. Eben Brown, Fox News.